Welcome to Midwest Sportsnet. Hello, I'm Joey McWilliams. I am joined today on the summit by the Assistant Athletic Director for Athletic Performance. I want to say that right, too. Some of these things get a little bit longer. Coach Joe Belden from Friends University. He's also the powerlifting coach, just in case you couldn't see that. Uh, and if you're watching this on a smaller screen, get to a bigger screen, because I guarantee you'll be able to recognize he is the powerlifting coach. Coach, I do want to talk about the powerlifting program, but first, First, I, I want to get to what is happening right now in Wichita up there at Fringe University. You all have partnered with Supplement World to provide a refueling station for the student athletes. Now, uh, talk us through what exactly that is and what does that mean? Well, Joey, first of all, I want to thank you for having me on and uh, greatly appreciate it and giving us the opportunity to talk about some of the great things going on at Friends. It's definitely an exciting time to be a Falcon, that's for sure. Um, we are in the process. Actually, we're kind of towards the end. Within a month, um, our the new Garvey Center project will be done. We'll be in a brand new weight room, and we will have one of the nicest facilities around. And uh, to go along with that, just because we have a we have a very forward thinking AD, um, we have a very supportive president, and uh, and we have an awesome, you know, our coaching staffs here are, are outstanding. We, we want what's we want the very best for our athletes, and we feel like they deserve the best. Um, Coach Faber um, had a relationship with Jeff uh, McInerney. I hope I'm saying his name right. I just call him Jeff at uh, Supplement World. And uh, they came in and, uh, you know, between Jeff and I just talking about what we need to do to, to help improve the performance of our athletes, we thought that a refueling station would be a great idea. And Rob, Rob uh, Ramsire, um, our AD, uh, really took the bull by the horns and ran with it. And, uh, and so here we are right now, we've signed a contract and they are going to be, we're going to have a refueling station as they leave the weight room where they can go through and, uh, and pick up some and, and fill their, their cups. Uh, we, I think we have it set up now where we'll have dispensers uh, with the appropriate setting for, uh, you know, how much they need. And they're going to put their water bottle in, they're going to fill up, they're going to refuel and, uh, and hopefully it's going to help, uh, you know, improve their performance, not only as an athlete, but also cognitively too. So hopefully it'll help them in the classroom as well. So we're, we're pretty excited about that. That's just fantastic. I, I saw the headline just yesterday and, and, you know, went over and again in my mind, the possibilities here are just so great. I mean, it's really, it's nice to live in the 21st century. I know there are lots of problems to deal with anyway, but there are so many new things and, and ways that, that athletes and student athletes, as you're talking about too, can just continue to better themselves and what they're doing. So you're t this, this is a, this is a liquid. This is similar to water. It's just like it, that. Tell us what, a, what, what are they drinking? Okay. So basically it, it's a powder. It's in powder form. Okay. And they'll just put it in a shaker bottle and, uh, and shake it up. And, uh, what it contains is it contains branch chain amino acids and, uh, they're, they're, uh, amino acids that, that basically that they're important for, um, for building and repairing muscles. Okay, following strenuous exercise, and um, basically the the BCAAs or the branch chain amino acids are those that we don't produce in our own body that we need to get from food. Well, we all know that college students don't always eat right, and they're not always <laughs> they're not always taking in what they need to take in. So, you know, so that's that's the plus there. Okay, now. These are going to be really, really good, and, and we're encouraging them to take in adequate amounts of protein as well afterwards. But uh, they also, you know, it's it's an interesting blend because it's not just the amino acids. The thing that I'm as excited about as anything is the electrolyte blend. Mm -hmm. And I know that I know that salt doesn't sound very exciting or sexy as a supplement, <laughs> but uh, but it is. It's like one of the most important things for us to for us to have in our body. Um, it promotes uh, cognitive function, uh, nerve impulse transmission, um, you know, along with maintaining the fluid balance. And that's what we always think about with electrolytes, but also, you know, muscle contractions as well. So we start talking about the nervous system. It controls every function in our body. 
And uh, if our electrolytes are low or they're insufficient, things just aren't going to work well. Yeah. So when I said earlier that it's not only going to help improve their performance on the field or on the court, um, and, but also cognitively as well, your mind's not going to work very well. Your brain's not going to work very well if you're low in electrolytes. So, um, you know, it has some other things in it like beta alanine, which is in some studies has shown that it's really good for uh, in for promoting endurance and high intensity, um, high intensity type exercise. Um, taurine and caffeine are some things that you find in energy drinks, but these have very safe levels in them. The caffeine is the equivalent of a strong cup of, of coffee. And, uh, and, you know, together those, those show an improvement in focus and, uh, and mental function as well. So um, there's, there's a lot of things to celebrate here um, with the new weight room, um, with, with uh, the refueling station and, you know, our weight room too. A lot of people, you know, this is something that hasn't been talked about, but our weight room will be about 4,500 square feet and have twice the equipment that we currently have, wow. but it will open directly up into our multi-purpose room, which is probably closer to eight or nine, eight or 10,000 square feet where, so basically we are going to have a huge training facility and I think it'll yes. be second to none. Yes. And wow, coach, that's fantastic. Um, you know, I, let me ask this then what, what you're describing, is this a first of its kind? I mean, I, I haven't heard about these before. So is this, you know, are, are we breaking new ground here? Oh, well, I think we're breaking new ground with a supplement station at the NAIA level. Okay. If you look at a lot of division one schools, the refueling stations have become you know, I think pretty commonplace to a certain degree uh, at the NAIA level. I don't know we're the first ones to have a refueling station or not. And, you know, the possibilities, you know, in the future, who knows where it will go. Right now it's amino acids and electrolytes and making sure that they're, they have what they need to function at a high level. And uh, like I said, who knows, who knows from, from here. BCAAs have been around for a while. Right. This particular right. blend that Supplement World actually makes, um, like I said, I was really impressed with the uh, with the electrolyte profile and and then some of the other things you know in it is along with the uh, uh, branch chain amino acids. So it's a nice blend, very simple, uh, very safe, and um, I think I think that it's it's going to help improve the performance uh, of our athletes as well. But one thing we do very well around here is take care of our kids. Right. And so this is just one more thing, you know, to, to show that, you know, we are very, very committed to taking care of our student athletes. Well, we're here with Coach Joe Belden on uh, the summit here on Midwest Sports Net. We talk a lot of small college sports throughout the Midwest and beyond. Coach, I think uh, an important question, not the most important question, but an important question is, does it taste good? It tastes great. Oh, gosh, to know. <laughs> and we have a choice of flavors and yeah, whatever they did there. I mean, it, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it all tastes good. All right. I, that that's, you know, somewhere down the line, someone's going to want to know that too. So I, well, I, I, while we're breaking right. news here, I wanted to go ahead and, and put that out there too. Coach, you are the powerlifting coach among, uh, again, I listed assistant athletic director for athletic performance. And, and mm -hmm. that is one of the things I appreciate about friends. We've had Dr. Ramsire on the program a couple of times too. I, I do think he's a very forward thinking gentleman and definitely leads the program. Well, you have a lot of great facilities there at friends in Wichita and continuing to get better all the time as you're talking about uh, the powerlifting program. That's relatively new. How's that going? Um, it's going very, very well. Um, this we, we will be entering our third year. Um, a quick rundown on, on our progress there. Year one, I was hired in April and, uh, and Dr. Ramsire said, you know, just you're hired late recruit five. We signed seven, Five showed. We pulled over a few from other sports, qualified seven for nationals. And then COVID, you know, set us back. We weren't able to attend. This last year, we qualified 13 for nationals. And uh, and our girls actually took uh, fifth in the nation uh, behind, uh, I'm trying to get the order right here, Ohio State, Wisconsin, Midland won it. And, uh, and then Houston was in front of us as well. But then there was French University. 
and uh, and with that we had our first national champion, uh, Dulce de la Cruz, and so and uh, basically we have almost everyone back. Uh, so and we had a really good recruiting year, and uh, our guys are right on the edge of being a top five uh, team as well. So we're pretty excited uh, going into this third year to to see what it brings. Tell us really quickly, by the way, the, the national affiliation, because the, there were some some names people might recognize as NCAA Division One, along with you all in hmm. AI as well. But this is a different affiliation. What what are you com- competing with? Well, we're governed through um, USA Powerlifting, okay. and we are not governed by the NCAA or NAIA. I would I would guess that uh, as it becomes more popular and there are more and more schools adding programs that 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 could happen in time. Um, the NCAA schools, um, they participate uh, through powerlifting in a club setting. And so for us at the NAI level, we, we do scholarship our athletes. And right. So, you know, you can come here and uh, on a powerlifting scholarship, just like you would a football or basketball scholarship and, and get some of your school paid for to have the best part-time gig in the world, go lift <laughs> weights at, you know, in the afternoon and go compete about three times a year. And I'm like, man, that that's the deal right there. That is, I, I like that coach. That is fantastic. Well, listen, <clears throat> congratulations to you and to not only the, the, uh, the university, the entire athletic department. I mean, what a fantastic new thing to have. When will this come into play? When, when, when is it going to be, uh, able to be used by the, the athletes? The first, uh, first week of October. The uh, project is supposed to be done, I believe, September 29th. That changes from time to time. <laughs> We've been waiting on flooring, but uh, it looks like everything's on time right now. So um, everything's going to kick off around that first week of October. And uh, and once again, it's a great time to be a Falcon. It's it's exciting. It is. It is a great time to be a Falcon. I think it always is. I appreciate getting yeah. to visit with you all. Fringe University here on Midwest Sportsnet. And uh, to uh, it's going to sound like a pun, but always a friend of the program. We're very grateful to, get to have you. <laughs> Have you on yeah. today, Coach Joe Belden with friends. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. And we would like to get an update. We want to follow. And so when this all comes through, maybe we can get some pictures and get an update and, and go from there. Thank you for being with us here on Midwest Sportsnet. Yeah, well, Joey, thanks a lot. I, I once again appreciate your time and your interest in what we're doing at Friends and, uh, and any time.